Hi, today I'm going to show you how to convert a GemCAD file uh, into a 3D file you can use with uh, STL, OBG, 3DS with your uh, software you like. So the first thing you have to do is to uh, save your file and uh, export the file with GemCAD in w, uh, WRL, so it's VR email one then you have to convert it to uh, the two dot zero and after you can uh, use MeshLab to uh, export it in what you need so uh, let's see so if you get something uh, like that you got a design you want to uh, to print it in 3d or I don't know you you want to uh, to use it some other software you have to go to file and you're gonna export it so uh, just use the uh, VRML so let's uh, write it test number two so um, when you have done it you, you are not able to open it with uh, this software if you try it it's not gonna work so uh, if you uh, you see it is over there it's not gonna work so you have to change to the second version of the of the so for that you have to go uh, on inter internet uh, you're gonna find this and there's the other one but this one is, is work well so uh, you, you're gonna download this uh, little uh, zip over there and uh, unzip it you will have uh, something like that so uh, you have the um, you, you have the, the, the the software to, to convert it but you have to use it with uh, the um, common prompt so uh, you have to go uh, on your window and just run your common prompt so uh, when you have it you have to go to the exact location of the the desk uh, the the folder so um, here's I'm gonna just do something. I'm gonna go get the file and transfer it. Then after that, I have to go and move. So okay. Oh, it's in my in my OneDrive. So. So that's that's my my desktop. Then I have to go in the this folder. So VR email one to VR email two, and you can see the files over there. Then that's now you have to to simply type. That's the the software. Then you type it, and after you type the file you want to convert, and the name you want to be. So test to converted, and that's it. So if I, I'm here, you say there's another a new one, and the new one's gonna be able to be open not not right now because you know in in uh, in um, this kind of stuff uh, the software of window is not able but if you go to MeshLab you can download MeshLab it's a, a freeware so if you open it after after that you can import then you go at the, the good location and you are able to open it that's it so and after that you can export it and what you want if you want STL for printing or everything what you want you can work with that so it's simple like that you can do what you need so I use that for my preform I, I just do my preform 
uh, in Excel or in um, GemCAD and after that I'm gonna convert it for printed in 3D and after when it's printed in 3D I can use it with my preformer so that's that's the way I, I work for convert like that so you you should be able to do it excuse me for my bad English <laughs> I try okay have fun